Today, I'm going to show you how to create this cauldron stack that looks like it came straight from Diagon Alley. Okay, so the things we'll need to make our cauldron stack are obviously cauldrons. I got mine at a variety of different places, everywhere from party stores, Halloween stores, Target, Walmart, online, you name it, that's where I picked them up. And mine are in a variety of sizes. You could make them any variety of sizes you'd like. You could also make them all the same size. It just kind of depends on the look you want. So my base cauldron is a 16 inch, and then I'm gonna have a 12 inch, 11 inch, 10 inch, two eight inch, and a six inch cauldron to complete my stack. And then I'm gonna be using the Auto and Marine Rubber Weather Seal Tape, and you'll kinda of see why, but the reason I'm using it is because I don't want mine to be a permanent stack. I want mine to be able to be mixed up. I wanna be able to take away a cauldron if I'd like. Um, I'd like to be able to store it easier if I want. So that's why I'm gonna use that rubber sealing. Um, if you are going to make it a permanent thing, you could definitely glue it together with either a hot glue, E6000 glue, or caulk. But because I want mine to be able to come apart and change up my stack, I am using this weather seal tape. I'm also going to be using the hot glue gun to glue in my um, handles on my two 8-inch cauldrons because I want them to be more fixed. I don't want them to be able to move and go all over the place. And then I'm also using a variety of different spray paints. So um, I don't want my cauldrons to look plastic. I want them to feel like they are made of metal or stone or some something heavier and more substantial. That's why I'm not leaving them in the finish that they're in now, which is why you might see that the seams look a little bit rough, and that's because I took a Dremel to them and kind of sanded some of the seams down that were sticking up quite a bit, so then that way I'll be able to get a smoother adhesion. Um, so I'm using different spray paints. So I have the Stone Coarse Texture Krylon. I have a matte black. I have a hammered metal in black, and then I also have a silver, but I could also do a copper, bronze, anything like that. You can make your cauldrons whatever color, whatever finish, whatever texture you like. Like I said, you can do whatever sizes. It's completely up to you. This is just how I want to do mine. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is spray one of my cauldrons with the stone texture. And then I'm probably going to go over it with the matte black because I don't want it to have the white speckles that I think it has. I just want it to gain the texture from it. Okay, so as you can see, all of the cauldrons are completely painted with their new finishes and colors, and they have now a more realistic looking quality. So they look like they're made of hammered metal or iron or something along those lines, so then that way they don't just look like a plastic cauldron. Um, I'm now going to show you how to use the weather stripping, so then that way it'll give the cauldron stack a little bit more of a snug fit, and it'll allow you to tilt the cauldrons a little bit easier. Again, you could also glue um, the cauldrons in place, but I find that even if you're going to glue them, the rubber sealing really helps, so then that way it'll keep it in the position that you want um, and allow you to actually get the tilt and the look you want with your cauldrons. Okay, so with the weather stripping, the beautiful part about this is it splits into two sections. So we can actually make this go a lot longer than if it was just um, a single section in and of itself or if it was just double like that. So we're going to go ahead and separate all of our weather stripping so that it's a single foam rubbery tube just like this. Now that we have our rubber tubing, all we're gonna do is take the backing paper off And then we're just going to use the adhesive to adhere it to the inside of the cauldron edge. All right, I have put all of the rubber edging on the inside of the cauldron. And what that does is it's gonna give us something to give a little bit of resistance. So when we set the other cauldron on top, it won't fall through. And it kind of makes it a little bit more snug so that it doesn't like wobble around wherever you place it. I'm gonna go ahead and put the weather stripping on the inside of all the cauldrons.
And there you have it, our finished cauldron stack. And again, these are able to be unstacked, stored, however you'd like them to be, or you can glue them together for what you want to do. Um, also, if you're going to put this outside for an extended period of time, I recommend using something like a Krylon clear coat just to seal it in so then that way um, it keeps the all the finishes that we put on those cauldrons protected. I'm also going to put a link in the description down below of an optional tag that you could put on um, these cauldrons that just show that there are pottages tag and it shows how much it is in galleons. So um, just something I thought I would add for you guys. So if you guys like this video, give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so and we will catch you guys later. Thanks so much.